and Pete Stalls. Awesome to see you back here again. Hey, today I'm doing a plasma cutter teardown. I pulled my old machine to pieces and uh, let's see what's inside and what makes it tick. Remember, if you like my channel, subscribe, drop me a note, drop me a line, and uh, let's have a look inside this sucker, see what we've got. So I pulled the old plasma cutter to bits, and this is what we've got. Now, I don't know if we're very technical, but I know how to cut steel, and I know how to weld steel, well, sort of. But uh, looking inside this thing, it's all pretty complex. Gone are the days of big transformers and big hunking lots of wire everywhere. Um, this looks pretty complicated and pretty serious sort of stuff to me, but uh, like I say, I'm no, um, I'm no expert with it, but I know that this is a, a um, inverter plasma cutter. Like I say, it doesn't have transformers or anything in it, so I don't really think there's much in here that you can service yourself, um, unless you know a lot about electronics, but um, I would say it wouldn't take much for this plasma cutter to go horribly wrong, basically, because... Uh, Look at all this crap in here. It's quite amazing, really. Um, there's a lot of chips there. Um, we've got some coils here. Coils here. Sort of a large coil thing here. But like I say, I'm, um, I wouldn't make a, um, I wouldn't make a, um, a um, electronics person's um, mailman. I'm just no good at, no, no good at the electronics guys. I don't pretend to be. Like I say, you got your. Uh, you got your air coming in here, and the back here, there must be an air switch there somewhere. Air up the back here. And there is the switch for the air. Switch it on and off. But as far as the rest of it goes, it's um, it's all a bit beyond me. But, um, yeah, someone asked me what's inside a plasma cutter. So there you go. I'm showing you now what's inside a plasma cutter. You know about as much as what I do about what's inside there. But um, if you can make head or tail of it, drop me a line. I'd be really interested. But like I say, it's not my forte. But um, yeah, so I said I pulled the thing to pieces, so I did, and I have. Um, we've got our um, fan in the back here. I mean, these are these are quite cheap units. I don't know how the hell they produce them that cheap, to tell you the truth. What's this? A couple hundred dollars, two hundred and fifty dollars. Now there's a lot of freaking gizmos in there for two hundred and fifty bucks, if you ask me. Now maybe I'm just naive. I don't know, but um, yeah. So there's not a lot to see in there, really. Um, like I say, just full of gizmos. So, uh, if you've pulled one to bits, or maybe you've pulled an old one to bits, maybe uh, you could tell me what the difference is. Because um, I had an old one, but I, it crapped out and I just threw the bloody thing away, you know. I didn't, um, didn't really understand how it worked or why it worked. And I don't understand why this works or how it works either. But that's what's inside it anyway, guys. There's no, uh, no guy in there with a hacksaw or anything silly like that. <laughs> yeah. Anyway guys, that's the uh, little video for what it's worth, what's inside a plasma cutter or a plasma cutter tear down. So uh, yeah, there's no much point pulling this shit to pieces, it's just, why would you do that? You know, it's just, uh, it's just crazy. Anyway guys, if you like me, you have a video, subscribe as usual, drop me a note, drop me a line, tell me what you think. I don't know if you've ever pulled yours to bits, but it's quite interesting really. I know not to do that again because there's nothing in there that I can service, absolutely nothing. Apart from keeping it clean of course. But I'm keeping the thing clean so it doesn't short circuit. Mm. Okay, guys, catch you next time.